Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I'm playing some Rule of Rose. We need to go find ourselves a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, because each person needs to give the aristocrat club a butterfly, so that they probably don't get killed in their face hole. Let's be honest, these kids are pretty murderous. I was playing Mass Effect, uh, finishing Mass Effect not that long ago, <sighs> and I kept trying... Like, right now, I keep trying to change the camera angle with my other joystick. Like, that's not how science works, Scarlet. Poppy! Also, what the hell? Who would tie up a dog like that? That's not very nice. In fact, it's kind of mean. And of course, eat a puppy. Puppy, puppy. Hi, puppy. No bondage hog tying a puppy, please! The puppy, the dog was all alone, tied up and hung from the ceiling. With no means to cut the ropes and free him, the unlucky girl could only stand and watch the poor creature struggle. So we need those scissors so we can cut the rope, because I guess a pair of rusty shears can cut through thick ass rope. Somehow. Wait, wait, can I go back there yet? You have to be able to get back into the room behind the guy. I don't know if I can do that just yet. I, I, it's been a while since I played this game myself, even though I know just about everything about it. Like, we are currently on the fish blimp! Fishy, fishy blimp. Swimmy fishy. So, we need to go in here. Nope, not going in there yet, okay. <laughs> I thought not. Let's chase the butterfly. Oh, you creepy violin, you. Don't worry, puppykins. We're gonna save you, but we're gonna save it. Like a save point. I'm gonna put save point on your butt, and then I'm gonna save your butt. Hello? Is that person here? Person! Amanda! Get your butt back here. Hi, honey. The unlucky girl met Diana, the strong-willed princess. As she gathered her courage to speak to the princess, the princess cursed. She's such a pain. Are they talking about- is she talking about me? If so, that's kind of weird because I'm standing right there. But... She is not a nice person. She is not a nice person at all. I wonder if this is important. Not yet! This wall seems to be made of cloth. Then tear through it! What do you know? Nothing in here. No. <laughs> like, uh, no. This way. I guess so. Hello. The unlucky girl met Thomas, the mischievous prince. The prince, who had been busy with his antics, finally stopped and spoke to the girl. A new girl! A new girl! You're creepy! I'm gonna just leave. Seems like it's probably the best course of action at the moment. Third passenger corridor. Wait. Alright, hi! The unlucky girl met Martha, the Queen of Cleaning. The queen glared at Jennifer as if she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Well, that's not very nice. And again, something that not so very nice happens to you soon. Also, most obnoxious crying ever, I swear! I got a copper leaf. 
You are so annoying, Olivia! Just go away! Nobody likes you! Shut up! The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. Susan, most annoying crying! Is, as the girl cried on, the girl gathered her courage and spoke to her. The butterfly's dead! The tearful princess just cried on and on. I had to get through this. I need to get rid of this. I need to get rid of this crying because it's so annoying. Yes, please. Thank you. She stabbed her with a fork. You deserve to be gobbled up. Well, that's not very nice. I got a fork now. I will wreck you, kid. Gimme. Itchy nose. A sharp fork with prongs. Yes, a fork is our first weapon. This game is a little strange. Even though the green butterfly is kind of banged up, we're going to go try and turn it in. Wait, 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 wait. I got a butter. I got a fork. I got a fork. I got a fork and I'm not afraid to use it. I'll fork you. Fork, 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 fork. Just wait until I get the pupkins. Once we get the pupkins, I'm just gonna be yelling at him the whole time like I was at Huey in Haunting Ground. This game is a little bit longer than Haunting Ground, though. Seeing as I can finish Haunting Ground in an hour if I try hard enough. And skip the cutscenes. And abuse glitches. <laughs> glitches are my specialty. I thought you all would know this by now. I like to break games. I like games that are easily broken. Um... I don't like game breaking glitches. Unless it's something that you have to specifically go towards. Then I just like to see how much I can mess it up. Like I've been playing around with, uh, oh, uh, what's the program? It's a program that can alter ROMs just slightly to make everything corrupted and gorgeous. Sup, bruh? You are not Olivia. I still can't go in there. Hi. You are not Olivia. You are an Olivia monster. Fighting time! Battle. Sometimes enemies will jump at him and impede Jennifer's progress. Attack. Hold down the R1 button to blah 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 blah. Getting hit and grab will deplete health, which is bad. This game does have boss fights. Also, no. Just like Silent Hill, most of the time, just run away from the fighting. Even though it has beautiful, gorgeous fight music. If there's a monster, just run away from him. If you can, it's the, usually the best idea. A child reading loudly can be heard faintly. Okay, fine. Unlocker. Scottish. She's Scottish. She's a little bit Scottish. How many Scottish viewers did I just defend? All of them! First class guest sector. Oh, I'm a lucky girl. All she, want, all she wanted was to be happy. So she went to a clover field. So she went to a clo clover field. Okay, this is gonna take way too long to listen to her this entire time. Make an offering. Have a shitty butterfly. This is gonna end poorly. The gift box door said to the unlucky girl, You call this a beautiful butterfly? Are you blind? Give me a beautiful, beautiful butterfly, and then you shall be invited to join the Aristocrat Club. Apparently my butterfly wasn't pretty enough. <laughs> it was pretty to me. <laughs> Will you knock it off? Oh, they dropped a thing. It's a key, in it? Definitely a key. You could only get a... The clover keys are important in this chapter. You can only get a one-leaf key, a two-leaf key, and a three-leaf key. You can't get the four-leaf. There is a four-leaf key, you just can't get it in the first game. Or, first playthrough. 
You can get it in subsequent playthroughs, but not the first one. Because it unlocks the room with all the optional costumes in it. Sector 8 Stairway. So, bruh? First adult dude we've se No, second adult dude if you count Hoffman, but... In front of the unlucky girl stood a man in a brown coat that she had never seen before. Are you sure about that? The man quietly handed her a storybook. Now we get to read it. The Cloverfield. Okay. Oh, there we go. Once upon a time, there was an unlucky girl. All she wanted was to be happy, so she went to a clover field. She found a one-leaf clover, but she dropped it on the road. She found a two-leaf clover, but it slipped into the shadows. She found a three-leaf clover, but a witch hid it away. She wanted to find a four-leaf clover, but she was too unlucky. Okay. <laughs> sure. So that's supposed to give you hints on how to get the other keys. If you notice, we got the one leaf key after it fell on the ground out of somebody's pocket. The second one is somewhere in the shadows. The third one is hidden by a witch. I know where those are. Because I know pretty much everything about this game. But, yeah. Any more monsters? No more monsters? Okay, can I get the scissors now? Bye, Joshua! I'm gonna get the scissors. It automatically makes you go in there. <laughs> nope, you're not allowed to go elsewhere. Screw you. And look, it's a kitty. Hey, look, it's where I was at. So now we can get the scissors. Yes. Push the button. Push it. Push your It's nine in the morning. I apologize for the yawning. I'm not gonna stop. You know I'm not. Snip, snip, snip. Snip, 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 snip. Now let's go get the scissors. Though, wouldn't we need scissors to cut the rope and the bindings and the the, the string that's holding the scissors in place? No, I didn't want to do that. I want to go out. Thank you. Da 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 da. Hopefully no more monsters, no more monsters, okay. I know it's going to happen, but just wait until I actually get attacked by some of the monsters. It's kind of, some of their attacks are kind of awkward. Not in that, oh, they're glitching out sense. No, they're just genuinely awkward. <laughs> no thanks necessary, no thanks necessary. You might have been better off being bound than being free to feel pain. So scary. Okay. Talking scissors. Scissors that can cut the rope. They're rather rusty. I don't think they can cut the rope if they're that rusty. Or at least you're going to have a really hard time of it. Either way, we've got scissors now. Let's go rescue a puppykins. And then we will have our partner, and we can make our puppykins do all kinds of things. Except attack. Huey doesn't attack. Um, or not Huey. Brown doesn't attack, unlike Huey, as far as I remember. Come here, puppy. I got some skeezers. And the puppy goes, oh no! Did we just let the dog drop? And he's so happy anyway! The unlucky girl cut the ropes with scissors and freed the dog. Mm, puppy! Free from captivity, the dog seemed quite happy. Mm. Aww! Mm. Actual puppy noises! However, the dog stood there and wouldn't move. Mm. 
It looked up to the girl as if wanting something, waiting for her reaction. Guess what else we have to give him? The obvious dog collar of obviousness. Now it's time for a greatly rendered cutscene. Now this game still looks good for a PlayStation 2 game. Brown! You named a brown dog Brown. brown. You named a brown dog Brown. It's still one of the worst names. I apologize if your name is Brown, but seriously, she named a brown dog Brown. Giving commands to Brown. Um, come, press the O button, square, O and square. Okay, that's triangle if I remember correctly. That's come, stay, come, and then we need this! Give me the biscuit tin! Got a biscuit tin? I got the biscuit! We skin it full of biscuits. Go! Go! Itchy eye! Oh god! Bad timing! Ah, there we go. Are you gonna give me a thing? Brown. Do you have anything for me? Oh, right, I probably have to equip that, don't I? Find! Find me a biscuit on the ground! Find me a biscuit on the ground! When find is used correctly, you'll discover hidden items like this. It's a biscuit! Biscuits are health items. I think the biscuits are health items for me. Stuff like candies and meat pies and stuff are health items. I'd be more biscuits nearby. Let's have a biscuit! Biscuit, biscuit! 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 Also, the dog can get injured and get wrecked. Brown just goes unconscious! Doesn't actually die like Jennifer will, but still. Seems like there are no other items in the area that can be found with the biscuit tin. I might go find items off screen. Because, um. I want to make sure that I have health items for later in the game because there are a couple points that are ridiculously difficult without them. I'm thinking of one boss fight in particular. Oh, wait, can I give you the butterfly? Have a butterfly? Go! Go, Papa Goo! Go, Papa Goo! Go, Papa Goo! Go, Papa Goo! Following the puppy. Hopefully we don't get attacked. I know I get attacked when you cross over there at one point. I remember it happening. I know it's gonna. I think Brown is leading me to the keys. Bum, bum, bum. And cutscene! <laughs> I knew it was gonna be Hi, Martha. Queen of cleaning. How you doing? Bye, Martha! Oops. Ops. Let's go, Brown. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, so let's be on the number three door. Come, Come here, Brown. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba. So we have to use Martha's hats to find Martha. But we can't find Martha because Martha is through this door, and this door is a level two door. A two key door. I've got this thing, so we need to find... Find. I know it's through here. We've got the key for this one. Use. Use. There we go, we're in the first... Second 
passenger corridor. I almost said second class. I guess it is technically second class. Second class passengers! Go! Go, Brown! Find me a key! Sup, bruh? How you doing, bruh? The unlucky girl met Nicholas, the sloppy prince. With a look of annoyance, the prince clicked his tongue and mumbled at her. Why, you! Go away! Go away! What are you doing? I mean, he might be looking at people or something, but still! Gimme! A key with a single leaf. It seems to be incomplete. Well, maybe it's because I have the little piece for it anyway. The copper key was attached. Copper key? Copper leaf was attached to the key. The one leaf key became the two leaf key. Yay! Okay, I need you. To find! Go! Go, puppykins! I'll do this! Where are you leading me? Oh, this is gonna end poorly. I distinctly remember this ending fairly poorly. Okay, I can't go that way. <laughs> Brown, you've led me astray! Why do you hate me so much? What did I ever do to you? Oh, wait. Nothing. So we've got the two-leaf key now, so we have to go to the two-leaf door, open the two-leaf door, find Martha's body, because she obviously got killed in that cutscene, by the monsters. Dude, Martha's in this one. She, she, she's, she, she's over here, dude, dude, dude. I'm gonna drop this. You, you, mm, sorry, you don't need most of this, but if you accidentally ever throw something away, that you need, you can go to a rubbish bin, which are usually right next to save points, and get it there, because that's where it all goes. You literally throw it in the trash. I don't think I really need that anymore, but I'm gonna keep it. Use! And we are also at the end of this video, guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tenager, and I have been playing some Rule of Rose. I'll see you all in the next video.